Lesson 12.1b, Graphing Points in the Coordinate Plane. Now we know there are four quadrants in the coordinate plane. We know that a coordinate plane contains two number lines called the x-axis and y-axis. And remember from the last video, we know what number quadrant it is by making the letter C for coordinate. We go 1, 2, 3, 4. We can locate and graph points on the plane by their x and y coordinates. And sometimes a point may be located directly on one of the axes. And graphing a point can also be referred to as plotting a point. We graph a point, we plot a point, so you may hear it that way. So this point is directly on the x-axis at negative 3. And that would be 0 for y. Here's 1, here's negative 1, so that's 0 for y. We have negative 3, 0. Where this one is at a positive 3 and a positive 2, it's in the first quadrant. When a point is located on one of the axes, one of the coordinates must be 0. We have points A, B, and C, and if you look, we have one of the coordinates is a zero. We have a zero here, a zero here. This one's, they're both zero for x and y. Point A is on y. We have negative one on the x, and we have a positive one on the x. So that would be zero for x. We have zero for x, and we have one, two, three, four for y. And B is at negative three, on the x and 0 on the y. We have our 1 and our negative 1, so we know for y, that's 0. And point C is directly on the origin. 0, 0. It's 0 for x and 0 for y. And points located on an axis are not located within a quadrant. Points A, B, and C are not in a quadrant. An ordered pair of x and y coordinates are written within parentheses with the x coordinate first and the y coordinate second. We have our x value and our y value. So if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5, within parentheses we'd have 3 comma 5. And just like x comes before y in the alphabet, x is the first one. On this coordinate plane, each square on the plane represents one unit. We have the ordered pair 5, 7, and it's located 5 units to the right of the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7 units up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, where this coordinate meets this coordinate is the point 5 for x, 7 for y. Here it's telling us to graph and label each point on the coordinate plane where the x and y coordinates intersect. We have point A, which is at negative 4 for x and 3 for y. So here's 0 on x, here's negative 4. Now we need to go to 3 for y. That would be 1, 2, 3. It would be right there negative 4 for x and 3 for y. We can label it with its letter A. For B, it says it's at 2 and 5 tenths and 1. So here's 0, here's 1, here's 2. Well, then it goes to 3. But we know 2 and 5 tenths is like 2 and a half. So it's in between 2 and 3. And then for y, we need to go to 1, which is right here, so we're going to go to 2 and a half, which is in between the 2 and 3, and then we're going to go to 1. So that would be right here. We can label that B. For C, it says it's at 0 on X and negative 2 for Y. So we're going to find 0 on X, which is right here, in between the negative 1 and the 1. And now we need to go to negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2, that would be right here. That is point C. And then it's telling us that point D is at 0, 0. Well, that's the origin. 
that is right here. We can label that D. Here we have two coordinate planes. And if you look at the scale on this one, it's going from 0 at the origin to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The scale is in increments of 10 on the axes. One unit, one square, is equal to 10. So point A is at 30 for x and 10 for y. Now, it looks like they're in the same place, doesn't it? It's three units over and one unit up, three units over and one unit up, but the scale on this coordinate plane is in increments of 100 on the axes. So we have 0, then 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. One unit is equal to 100. So this point A is graphed at 300 for x and 100 for y. This scale is labeled in increments of 20, but each unit is equal to 10. Here's 0, the origin, and we see it's labeled 20. And we know that this mark right here must be 10. It's going 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So even though it's labeled in increments of 20, each unit is equal to 10. We need to pay attention when we're graphing. We need to watch these labels to make sure we're graphing our points in the correct location. So we're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the third part, reading scales on axes. And we're going to talk more about what we discussed in this lesson about the different increments on the axes. I hope you have a very wonderful and productive day, and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.